I'm Jonathan Katz Moses, and today we're gonna make this 3D end grain cutting board. Now, this is probably the most fun I've ever had making something, and this thing comes out so cool. Uh, it's just, this is gonna be a gift for Christmas, and it's definitely gonna be the coolest thing under the tree. Now, this is something that there's no way I could completely instruct you how to make this in a 15 minute build video. So for the first time ever, Mark and I have put together a long form class on the website. It has about two hours of instructional video. I take you through every step of the process. I go into detail on things that I would never be able to do in a YouTube video and I really show you how to create something absolutely gorgeous that is really gonna be just a absolute showstopper. We have tool lists, plans, uh, you know, all the patterns. I've created some special clamping blocks and, and ways to clamp this so that you get a really good result. Uh, we create our own finish, so I teach you how to make the Cat's Moses goo and uh, really just walk you through all the intricacies, trials and tribulations I had while making this. So please enjoy this montage build video and head over to the website and check out the class. I think you're really gonna enjoy it and anybody with any sort of woodworking skill can can create something like this. This is not something you have to be an expert to make as I walk you through every single part of the process. So thanks for watching. Guys. We're now on day two of milling, and I just I wanted to show you, this just happens with all eight quarter lumber when you resaw it. There's more moisture in the middle than the outside, and this is why we wait a day. So we're gonna go ahead and rejoint the insides of these, and then we're gonna rejoint the edge. basically just set up your hexagon dry. Make sure you have everything facing the right way. Make sure it matches the picture because this is where you can really screw up. If you start, you know, cherry and maple at the end grain, they look pretty close. I mean, they're obviously not the same, but uh, just take your time, get everything right. Now it's time to glue up our hexagons. And guys, this is, uh, you had to be careful before when you're gluing up these triangles, but this is where you really have to be careful. I already screwed up one, which sucks, because this messes up like a six by 12 area that I could have got out of material out of this. to show you where we're trying to get to here. Now that we've cleaned up our pieces on the table saw and we're ready to go, uh, this is how, what we're going for to clamp it up.
When it comes to the juice groove and your finger holds, I would sand those now. One of the things you risk is really rounding over and changing the shape of this. So you want to try and avoid that. Hey, now the exciting part. We got to this part. We've done a lot of hard work and there is gonna be a cool way that we finish this. Wow, guys, this came out just incredible. I could not be happier with this. I, I'm scared to use it, but I'm going to because we don't make woodworking projects to put on the shelves. We make them to use them. So uh, head over to my website and check out the class. Super comprehensive. Anybody can get it done. And Christmas is coming up. So if you want to make the absolute best Christmas gift that anybody's going to get, you can make this. So thanks for watching. Stay safe in the shop and have a wonderful day.